Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, not now. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, will I wait till my change come? Job 14, verse 14. We come into this world fully cognizant of the fact that we have a limited amount of time. We don't live here for very long before we are confronted with the cold realities of death. Yet, what disturbs me is not the quantity of life, but the quality of life. Simply stated, when death comes to push us through its window from time to eternity, I want to feel as if I accomplished something worthwhile. I want to feel that my life made a positive statement. It would be terrible to look back over your life and see that many times you thought your request was being denied was actually only delayed. Life always presents broken places, places of struggle and conflict. If you have a divine purpose and life has put you on hold, hang on. Stay on the line until life gets back to you. If you believe as I do, then it's worth the wait to get an answer from the Lord. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of the harbor pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon the rock and established my goings. And he had put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Psalm 40, 1 through 3. The real test of faith is facing the silence of being on hold. Those are the suspended times of indecision. Have you ever faced those times when your life seems stagnant? Have you felt you are on the verge of something phenomenal that you were waiting for a particular breakthrough that seemed to be taunting you by making you wait? All of us have faced days seem as though God had forgotten us. These are the moments that feel like eternity. Patience get a work out and God's answer is no answer. In other words, God's answer is not always yes or no. Sometimes he says, not now. The quote of the day, God's answer is not always yes or no. Sometimes he says, not now. There are many of you today who have been laid off. Many of you today who are struggling and are facing various other challenges. But I want to encourage you today that God is still in control. Keep praying. And as you face today, remember, it's not only yes or no. He can be saying, not now. God bless you, in Jesus' name.